The following movies demonstrate volume rendering for visualization of scientific data from a variety of applications. These images were created by Ruth Johnson and Chuck Mosher using Sun's TAC-1 visualization accelerator on Sun 3 and Sun 4 workstations. In each case, the images were rendered from the raw volume data by VoxView, one of the programs in the TAC-1's volume rendering toolkit. The movie loops were also automatically generated by VoxView. This is a shaded surface volume rendering of a 61 slice MR scan of a human head. Both surface and slice based techniques are used. External structures such as skin are rendered with surface shading while slice planes are voxel mapped to reveal the original MR data. This technique relates the position of internal structures such as tumor sites to external landmarks. The data is courtesy of Jeff Shaw of Vanderbilt University. This is a shaded surface volume rendering of 197 CT scans of a two-toed tree sloth. The skin has been made transparent to reveal internal structures such as the trachea, lungs, heart, and diaphragm, and the bones of the rib cage, shoulder blades, and spine. The data was used to study the pulmonary function of a creature that spends its time upside down. The CT data is courtesy of Dr. Eric Hoffman, University of Pennsylvania. Another example of 3D medical imaging is this rendering of blood vessels in the head. A special mode of MR imaging known as GRASS was used to maximize the contrast of the blood vessels in the 2D MR images. 192 MRI slices, each 256 squared, were used to generate the movie frames. The data is courtesy of Sandy Napel, University of Western Ontario. Here we are looking at the computed electron density volume of an iron sulfur cluster showing the highest occupied molecular orbital. The computations were done on a cray and the resulting density data was then rendered on the TAC-1. The rendering reveals the three-dimensional relationships among electron density clouds of different values. The data is courtesy of Dave Case, Lou Noodleman, and Mike Peak, Scripps Clinic in La Jolla. This is a shaded surface rendering of a microscopic NMR image of a cross-section of a water-filled tube within a one millimeter tube of benzene. The rendering reveals the water benzene chemical shift and magnetic susceptibility effects perpendicular to the spatial image plane. The data is courtesy of Clint Potter, National Center for Supercomputing Applications, and Dr. Paul Lauderber, University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. This is a rendering of a CT scan of a nine volt battery. In this case, the images were created using the maximum value rendering mode of VoxView. The rendering reveals the six internal 1.5 volt batteries. The data is courtesy of Sandia National Laboratories. This final movie shows images of air flowing through a duct with a heated rectangular region on the floor underneath the duct. The simulation was done on a Cray XMP. The data is courtesy of Jim Scott, Sandia National Laboratories. This videotape is a product of the Visualization Group of Sun Microsystems in Research Triangle Park, North Carolina. These images were created at the Visualization Products Facility of Sun Microsystems in Research Triangle Park, North Carolina, using Sun's TAC-1 Visualization Accelerator. The images were rendered by ray casting using binary classification techniques with subvoxel uniform step size. This is a sequence of slices through a 127 slice magnetic resonance study of a human knee. In addition to doing ray casting of volumes, the TAC-1 volume toolkit performs interactive slice operations, such as taking arbitrary oblique cuts and editing of the volume data. and segmentation of structures with similar density. 
Using the slice-based editing features of the volume rendering toolkit, a portion of the outer surface of the head was removed, revealing the brain, which has the same MR intensity range as the skin.